Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best, Axton Management Company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is an update to do with Birmingham news. We've covered the story of Dejan Reed three times so far on the channel. This is due to the amount of developments in the story. The latest update is that several men and teenagers have been charged for his murder. Initially, the police charged Michael Shields from Castle Bromwich, who is 35 years old, with his murder, and he was remanded in custody to, and due to appear in court very soon. And then today, they've now charged George Khan, who's 38 years old, from Birmingham also, and a 14-year-old boy, who of course cannot be named due to legal reasons. Dejan was fatally stabbed on College Road in King Standing on Monday evening on the 31st of May and they believe the offenders arrived and left in a car, a VW Golf, that they never recovered. This has been a fast moving story and has definitely shook the city. Today I was on Twitter Spaces with Michael Morgan and Femi Sorry discussing knife crime issues to do with poverty, gang violence and also economic and social things. And we had a really good discussion and productive discussion. And in two weeks from now, we're going to be having another discussion with the mother of Joshua Ribera, Depsman. Alison Cope, as I spoke about in the previous video, has done a lot in the city to fight against knife crime and also to educate young children on that. So I'd really appreciate it if you joined us on Twitter in about a week, I think it is, for that discussion and what we can do in our communities to help as well, because people think this is just a children's problem, but at the same time, as you can see, adults get involved in this. We've seen various different examples of adults committing violence across the country in the past few days. And how can we preach to the children if we're carrying out the same actions as what we're saying that they shouldn't? There is a lot of speculation with this case as well and a lot of narratives and things that are just not confirmed and nobody knows exactly what happened except the people that are on trial currently. And due to respecting the legal process and not interfering with any cases, this will be the last time we speak about this story until there is a conclusion to the trial. And we really appreciate it if you was respectful in the comments and avoided any accusations or speculation that may affect any trials in the future. So rest in peace to Dejan Reed and we'll definitely keep you updated when it's appropriate to do so on this story. In some other news coming from the West Midlands, two drug dealers have been caught with several kilos of cocaine after a police chase in the Warsaw area. The dash cam footage shows the moment that the car undertook the PC on the M6 near the junction on the 7th of November in 2020. After the police officer said really in disbelief at the audacity of being cut up, he then went to pull over the driver. Simon Padgett was alongside Dean Stoney and even when the police flashed their lights they began to accelerate up to 100 miles an hour. The 39 year old weaved in and out of cars on the A35 heading towards Warsaw and at one point he hit the central reservation and jumped past several lights. He did a lap of the Toby Carvery car park in a bid to separate himself from the drugs. And they also tried to give the police the slip on Springfield Avenue and this is when Stone jumped from the vehicle and he was holding a rucksack. The 40 year old didn't get far when he was arrested by the police trying to get into a taxi nearby. The rucksack was recovered in bushes and it contained five one kilo slabs of high purity cocaine estimated to be worth on street value £500,000. After around five minutes longer of the chase, Simon realised he wasn't going to get away and he pulled over in Broadway North, where he was detained in a street. Both men went on to admit possession with intent to supply and Padgy pled guilty to dangerous driving also at Birmingham Crown Court on the 27th of May 2021. They are both in the Warsaw area and they've both been jailed for six years. The detective investigating the case said that Pageant and Stone clearly thought there was above the law and could escape using high speeds. But this is a prime example of how that would not work with the cars that they have available on the police force. So I really appreciate you joining me for these updates. I'll be back again very shortly shortly with some more news please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe peace so we're on the crescent approaching roundabout stand by for direction just keep doing it yeah with apologies why am okay we're into the toby carvery now um risk is still medium and we're into the car park we go back out the other side where i am stand by for road mate
Okay, well, my speed has significantly reduced now. It's uh, standby, still making overtakes. We are at three zero miles an hour. I'm on the Broadway North, uh, outside 112. Vehicle's pulling over now, it's own accord, standby. Out the car! Out the car! Out 